<clears throat> All right, we recording. We ready? Let's do it. Hey, yo, yo, yo! What's going on, everybody? Thank you again for tuning in. It is your boy, Mister Sunday Monday, but only on Tuesdays. Tune in right here, your voice for the everyday people, and we are here just to bring you these trending topics today. I got a special guest in the building, tuning in, listening in with me, my boy, Mister C Ray, back there. Mister Ray, say what's up. My boy Ray in the building So he gonna be tuning in Listening in Giving his insights And helping me with some of the audio uh, And the technician stuff But You know With nothing else to be said We hoping that everybody In the 318 Stay pretty dry It's been a A, a rainy Drizzly Saturday And we've got uh, A lot more of those days Coming up With Labor Day approaching In a couple of weeks Weekend of September 2nd Labor Day So You know Season will be changing Shortly after Drifting into the fall after it's been a, a extremely extremely tough and hot summer uh and we're gonna touch up on some of that today because uh i mean the world is going crazy right now the world is going mad but today we're gonna start it off with a couple of interesting facts and i'm gonna read you a uh an article from fadeawayworld.net um so having michael having michael jordan sign them was nike's best move ever the novel company tried to engage with other players before Jordan, including Magic Johnson. But after the Los Angeles Lakers legend took a different route, they still tried to find that guy who would put their name on the map. His heirness would become the figure of the company in the 80s, creating his own shoe line and exceeding the expectations that not even the most enthusiastic Nike executives believed when they approached the Chicago Bulls legend. What started as a gamble for both parties turned out to be one of the most successful businesses in history, and the results were visible from the very beginning. When they first started the partnership, Nike expected to sell $3 million in Air Jordans over four years. But things would be a lot different for them. As it turns out, today in 2022, they make $3 million in selling Jordans every five hours. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> That's insane, man. This is I would who who all out there like Jordan. I like Jordan. I, I got a I got a few pair of Jordans, man. I ain't just rocked them like that all my life. But I've I've, I've I had a couple fours and fives, elevens and ones of my thing now. But not you, my boy. He my boy say, would you be rocking the Air Max? He an Air Max guy. Hey, Nike is Nike though. You know what I'm saying? So. That collaboration was one of the best, um, and I think we can still say that today, man. The demand is high, and even with the advancement of technology, online shopping and stuff like that, it's gotten crazy. Shoes are hard to find, and I mean, shoes, those shoes get up to like thousands of dollars. Um, but moving forward in other news, we got sports. Uh, Adrian Peterson on Wednesday training camp footage surfaced of former Vikings star running back y'all know i'm a vikings fan adrian peterson knocking out his sparring partner ahead of his september 10th undercard match against former steelers running back Le'Veon bell scheduled for july 30th but post it was postponed due to the main event falling through between youtube stars uh and anderson gibb and austin Mc, McBroom. so uh now it's been pushed to september the 10th which is one two three weeks away um and i mean that's a pretty big deal I, I saw the video clip on youtube bro and it 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 wasn't all that exciting i mean it was ap and i mean he, he knocked out his trainer i guess um i don't know i mean i mean he just took one swing knocked him out but i mean he he really to me in my personal opinion he he didn't have any boxing for him he just he just kind of ran up on him and knocked him out so i don't know if that's gonna come to haunt him in the actual an actual thing i don't know if they genuinely training i mean right right we all know it's for show right we, <laughs> i think we can all agree it's for the money but i mean i don't know i don't know i don't know this is this is a tough one i mean we're gonna, we gonna come back though as the time approaches we're gonna get closer and closer we're gonna probably cover this topic like two three times uh but we're gonna get closer and closer to, uh i mean as the time gets close as the time gets closer and closer to the main event uh, we will uh, keep covering that because, I mean, I think it's going to be fun to watch. Without a doubt, no matter win, lose, draw, I think it'll definitely be fun to watch. Um, so for those who don't know who uh, Adrian Peterson or Le'Veon Bell are, um, Le'Veon Bell was a former running back for the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. And AP, of course, is known for his 
semi-successful well very 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 successful running back career not so much for the team but uh he played for the minnesota vikings um and uh ap last year played huh what oh yeah you know right 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 yo you know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't don't come for my team man do not come for my vikings <laughs> Ah, don't come for my Vikings, man. But um, so um, for those who don't know, let me give you a couple of uh, statistical facts. Uh, both Peterson and Bell appeared in games last season. Peterson, who was 37, played in four games with the Titans and the Seahawks, totaling 98 yards on 38 carries and two scores. Bell played eight games for the Ravens and the Bucks, tallying 101 yards and 39 carries with two touchdowns. Um. Uh, both are currently free agents, and uh, Peterson ranks fifth on the NFL's all-time leading rushers list with 14,918 yards, and he has seven All-Pro selections and was the MVP of the 2012 season, rushing for a career high of 2,097 yards. Now, Bell has earned four All-Pro selections during his career, uh, most recently in 2017, and that was the last time he rushed for over 1,000 yards, though he did total 1,250 yards from scrimmage on 311 touches in his 19, uh, in 2019, his first year with the Jets. Uh, so both were uh, very influential, very powerful running backs. Um, I'm probably going to take AP, though, uh, simply because, not just because I'm a Vikings fan, but because, I mean, if you watch AP run the football, I mean, AP is like a, a brick wall. So I don't really know how much success Le'Veon Bell gonna have, but uh, we gonna see, man. They both strong and powerful. It's gonna be tough. I definitely think it's gonna be uh, one for the books, right? Moving forward, um, let's talk about the Col the Colorado River. This is probably the most interesting fact uh, that I saw today, um, and this has to to do with the topic of global warming from last week. That you know we still don't know if it actually exists. But uh, and I'm not gonna be long on it. I just wanna, again, uh, touch up on some stuff that I've read. Now, lately, um, one of the biggest headlines uh, on Google, one of the biggest headlines um, on AOL, uh, and on the news is the world's rivers are drying up from extreme weather. And uh, they've got a couple of satellite images from six different uh, uh, rivers throughout the world, uh, and they've got different satellite images from. To the year 2000 and uh, now 2022. Now I'm gonna focus mainly on the Colorado River because that's that's here in the U.S. Uh, near Lake Mead, and uh, it says uh, this is from this is from CNN. Uh, it says to be stuck up a river without a paddle is an expression for a sticky situation you just can't get out of. But if that river happens to be the Northern Hemisphere this summer, it's likely the paddle won't be helpful anyway. A painful lack of rain and relentless heat waves are drying up the rivers in the U.S., Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Many are shrinking in lengths. Uh, patches of riverbed, riverbed poking out above the water are a common sight. Some rivers are so desiccated they have become virtually impassable. And the human-caused climate crisis is fueling extreme weather across the globe, which isn't, which isn't just impacting rivers, but also people who rely on them. Most people on the planet depend on rivers in some way. Uh, whether for drinking water or to irrigate food or uh, energy to, to for energy or ship goods. Um, and I thought that this article was pretty interesting simply because everybody knows last week it flooded in Vegas. And I mean, it was the worst flood Vegas has seen in 10 years. Two people died um, that I saw. But I mean, I saw different clips of like people riding. I mean, Vegas flooded like New Orleans, you know, during like Katrina or something. Like, it was wild. And I mean, it was Vegas, you know. And, and um, it just, it's crazy. And I mean, again, we talk about global warming. Huh? It's crazy to see how, um, when they actually show some of these photos, and I'm going to pull these up. When they, I'm going to pull these up, pull up a couple of photos. Let's see. I'm going to pull up a couple of photos. It's interesting to see how in 2000, um, yeah, you know, see, if you look right here, in the year 2000, uh, you know, the river had plenty of water, at least from, you know, the scale, you know. And when you look over uh, from the satellite view of 2022, I mean, there's there's no water. There's none. And that's crazy. That's just in that's just in uh, 22 years. So you can only imagine, you know, if you're looking at um, a grand scheme of things in the next 22 years, you know, 
um, it could be a, a, a huge substantial loss. And I guess they blame in the um, global warming crisis. Uh, you know, and I mean, it gets pollution, uh, fuel economy. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are we losing land to water? Or are we losing water to land? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just feel like I don't know. I mean, how do we not? Or we, why, how how do we not know that the water isn't just evaporating, and then the clouds are just going somewhere else? <laughs> it could just, it's just putting the water. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's from my understanding as a child growing up, it's a constant cycle. I don't understand how we run out of water. I mean, when you know we. <laughs> Everything in the world is constantly replenishing. Like, I know our bodies use the water, but we also sweat, and then you know that's secreted back into the air. You know, yeah, you know, it separates from bacteria. I mean, it's 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 constantly recycling. I don't understand how it's possible to be running out of water just because we drink it and all doesn't mean that it doesn't go back into the world some kind of way. Whether it's the sewer system, um, you know, I mean, it's constantly recycled. Nothing leaves earth <laughs> nothing floats off into space so how are we ready i don't know i don't know but um hey that's that that that's an interesting topic there um uh, like i say i do encourage people though you know don't pollute you know what i'm saying let's try to clean up the planet um because i think it's other health issues um and other things other than just the global warming crisis that are uh affecting us as americans you know what i'm saying people are getting cancer from all these different fumes i i also don't think that like wi-fi and all that stuff is, is safe and healthy. It is convenient. I know we love it, but it's a lot of radioactive waves going through the air now, you know, with satellites up there, if there's satellites up there, uh, all that, that type of stuff. So it's crazy, man. Tell me what y'all think. Uh, you know, I want I want to hear some insights. I want some some uh, <laughs> I want to hear some insights uh, from some some subscribers. We appreciate all the subscribers uh, that joined us last week. Shout out to my boy, Chris Avery. Um, who's one of my first subscribers, man, and uh, and and shout out to that boy Tomasio who who uh, hit me up. Um, actually, touched up on a couple of topics. We went in um, deep on a couple of things, so I do appreciate it. And there's many, many, many other subscribers. Uh, definitely check out the Media Mike Speaks. Um, um, I, I enjoy piggybacking a lot of my content from the Media Mike Speaks and New Justice Media. Um, shout out to them because um, they are very, very helpful, very influential. Uh, and they they apply they supply us with a lot of content uh, and a lot of information uh, and we work together so we appreciate them definitely subscribe to their channel and keep following them i follow them each and every day um and so you know we're gonna try to um definitely get together soon and do some collaborations shout out to custom made printing who's our sponsor um and we appreciate them if you need any type of printing needs from t-shirts you want to get your car uh, wrapped they do vinyl wraps um you, do, you know embroidery all that good stuff caps hats aprons logos designs graphics whatever you need call 318-205-6705 again 318-205-6705 um, located right here in shreveport louisiana 4025 greenwood road definitely go check them out if you need anything um go in there and ask for pat that's my boy he'll be happy to take care of you but with nothing else to be said we just hope that um everyone has a wonderful afternoon we're gonna tune in again with you next time each and every day sunday monday but only on tuesdays right here peace Thank you.